Hello everyone. Morning. Uh, we've been out early. We've got this one down already. This field's been gutted already. Um, already done that. Got the grass put into our new fermenting silo. Uh, I shouldn't really be using this to drive around in. But we'll take you over there quickly. As you can see, this is the new field in white, which will be seeded shortly. And we've got a little bit of a pasture area left there between it. Here we have, let's get jump out, the new fermenting silo. It's nothing too fancy. Just over 15 grand that cost. And it's just got over 16,000 litres of uh, grass in there. And a few thousand in the trough, ready for some sheep. I'm not quite ready for sheep yet, <laughs> but we are getting closer. So I'm just going to jump in this and get this set up at the airstrip field. We've got a little Mikey coming down. He's going to be working in the field shortly. So we'll get that all prepped and ready for him. And then we're going to have to grab the tractor and stop. Way easy, 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 easy. This thing does like to have a mind of its own sometime. Well, for me it does. For Mikey, he seems to operate it flawlessly. There you have it. Alright. Uh, I'm going to get the first little end bit done. Right by the uh, telephone poles here. The electric poles. Uh, it's not that I don't trust Mikey. It's just I don't trust Mikey. <laughs> no, I don't like the idea of him being too close to him. Um, if he hits them and damages them, that's our liability. At least this way, if I do it, it's, it's, it's my fault. It's all good. Um, preferably we don't want to hit it. <laughs> if I can help it. Uh, maybe it's my own fault, really. Uh, I shouldn't have put the field so close to them. But you make, make the most of what, the, what, what you got in space. Uh, and the airstrip field is, is exactly how it is. It's a strip. It's a big, long strip. You can squeeze a couple of inches here and there. You're going to. Uh, we'll get this bit done. Uh, Mikey will take over and we'll be back over in that field. Drilling that other half there. Getting that to turn into one new whole field. Uh, here we are in the tractor. Um, sometimes the sound cuts out while we're in here. Don't ask me why. Ah! Look what I've gone and done. I forgot to detach the baler. Uh, okay, alright, um, probably wasn't the cleverest of ideas, we are going to need it though, so we don't put it too far, we'll just drop it there for now. See, trying to get too many jobs done at one time, never a good idea, accidents happen, that could have been a big accident, especially if we didn't really pay too much attention, we could have took the cedar out with the baler, it's much bigger. Right, <coughs> let's get... Cracking. <clears throat> First off, we're just going to follow this little white line around the roadway here. So we can get the edge done. Or all the edges done, shall I say. That just get, makes it easier for the boundaries. I get that done first. I've got a full visual as I'm going up and down. And then with a bit of luck, I won't miss any. Because this is me, we've seen what happens with the patch field. That's how it got its name. <laughs> we're we're going to avoid that as much as possible. And we'll just get this done in one go. That's the plan. Yes, while Mark is in there, we're just going to do this. And I'll keep you up to dated. Up to dated. <laughs> Making my own language up now. I uh, just had an interesting phone call from... Uh, Eddie is um, popping out of town again for a couple of days. But he said uh, the, the windmill's all up and right, ready for anyone who's using it. Um, so he's got it operational as far as I'm aware. And I'm thinking we do have, uh, I think we do have some wheat or barley in the in the makeshift silo we've got. Um, maybe we should take that over, turn it into some flour, that'll make some good money. Um, and then we have got that new bakery up the road. I wonder whether or not I can give them a buzz or knock on their door or something, take some flour up there, see if they're interested in purchasing the flour 
or possibly making us some bread that would be a, a nice idea that would sell really well everyone's always after some bread and round here the prices always seem to be fairly good at the moment we're having a good year I'm hoping that year is going to continue but you just don't know anyway we'll get this field done and uh Hopefully you can see Mikey over there. Uh, hang on, let's get this lined up right. And get this lined up right. We'll see if I can see Mikey then. As soon as I'm in a straight line. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I can crack on and look. He is... I can just see him over there in the far corner. So yeah, Mikey's cracking away. Um, I Probably would be a good idea to windrow it. Even though it's cut, it can get a big enough windrower, big enough, turn it into bigger swaths, less up, less rows to do with the baler. Um, it's an option. Uh, it's money. I just don't think I've got one. I think I've got one, maybe two pallets of lettuce, and whatever I've got down at the chickens, I could possibly sell those. That could bring in enough money to get a windrower for now. But yeah, we'll see. Now that's all strapped in. Ah, right, there we go. Right, yes, we got that field done. Uh, we're just over at the pickup. We've got one pallet of eggs, one pallet of uh, lettuce. The eggs are not a full pallet, um, but we'll take what we can over. Get that spent. Uh, yeah, spent. Get that sold. Get us paid, um, and then we'll shoot up to the store and see if we cannot get some sort of windrower. Um, it was a comment left to me the other day and I think it would be a good idea as well tighten up some of these swaths and uh, or tighten them up so squish them together and can get something like two or three of them swaths together cut that in half or a third It'll take less time to get it done in total then that's the plan so uh, yeah I get this sold and um, hopefully we'll have enough cash here we go. Back at the old train depot. It's the best place for sales. It really is. The only problem is we can't sell wheat and grain here as of yet because we haven't got an auger. That's no problem. We, we're hopefully turning that into something else. A bit more positive there. Alright, let's hope we get a good price for these. And there you have it, 7,700. The prices are high. It's fantastic. Give us 10 grand. We've got to be able to get something with that. So, uh, we'll, s well, I'm going to go straight to the store, see what there's available. And I've taken the wrong turn again. I do this every time. Oh, I can't hear that humming for a change. Maybe they've been and fixed it. <laughs> one can only hope right hoping they're gonna have something that we can use see what options they have right unfortunately they've got nothing in our price range so that whole selling everything we had was pointless um, so we're gonna have to rent <laughs> which is not what I wanted to do uh, they got this one first off um, it's probably their lowest budget one they said 8.4 meters so that will at least half the swaths I reckon um, that's probably the option I think would be best suited for us although it is I don't believe it has a normal hitch on there so we probably will have to go get a tractor but the second option they currently have is this one now this one it does have a hitch so we can tow it it's slightly smaller at 6.3 meter working width as you can tell um, but it's more expensive and the higher cost is more expensive um, and it's also it's also not not as quite as peeling as the first um, they've got third one one final option and that's this one it's an r90 it's actually classed as a rake rather than a windrower but it does the same thing again you can attach to the front or the back preferably the front it's going to go this way and it collects it up and puts it into a swath underneath the tractor um, now it's 32, 32 and a half thousand pound as standard, or thousand dollars as standard. Um, 
and it's again it's a lot more higher cost wise on it um and i'm not sure we've got any any of our two tractors have a front attachment and at 1.2 tons i'm not sure if the little uh, any of our little ones will be able to lift that up at the front so i think our first option was the right option so for just literally shy of a thousand pound we have one of these it's a three-point attachment, so I will need to go get the tractor. Um, I was hoping that maybe they had the John Deere line around. And we could have used that, but apparently it's out on hire. So, yeah. Never mind. We'll get it done. It's very nice. Uh, I think this is a brand spanking new one as well, which means we're the first to use it on hire. All right. Well, let's get back to the yard and grab that tractor. Lovely bit of kit. I hope Mike's finished soon. He's going to be off at lunchtime. Off to the dentist's apparently today. Absolutely fine. I've only got that one field to take care of. should really call in there at some point today but um, we're busy now so <laughs> crack on all right yeah we're gonna take the tractor Do you know i think i'll take the baler with me and drop it off at the top of the field and oh did i leave that running bad matty g bad matty g that's gonna cost me some fuel all right hooked up hooked up and good to go Yeah, I'll just drop this off at the field and then go pick up the uh, the hired windrower. Hopefully this is really going to make a big difference with bailing up. Well, it's in a way, we haven't purchased anything too expensive. We've hired it. If it doesn't work, we know not to buy one. <laughs> There's always that. Here we go. Let's pull into the side here. Drop the baler off. Pick up the windrow. Here I come to pick it up. It's so much peaceful and quiet without that electrical humming going on. Hopefully that stays fixed for life. I know, no, my luck. It'll break every time I come up here. For future reference. I hope not. Here we go. So we've got we got the oomph to pull this no problem or at least we should have after spending all that money on the engine upgrade oh we definitely should have <laughs> yeah, our next big purchase is either some more barn space or maybe a new tractor it all depends on how much money we make at the end of the year I'm going to try to avoid big purchases until, yeah, until sort of the new year, the winter time, sale prices for equipment starts to dwindle. It's not required as much. It's probably the best time to go for it. So uh, that's the plan this year, this season anyway. Right, let's get cracking. Approaching it now, so let's just get prepared. There we go. Right, where are we? Oh, I'm further away than I thought I was. Uh, I'm thinking if I literally follow this swath, I should be able to get the other two just about inside it. Right, they're on. Let's pull forward a bit. See what happens. Yeah, just about. So... This should work a treat. If anything, I want to keep slightly to the right of this. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll chuck a drone up in the air in a minute. And um, you get some aerial footage.
So Mikey stayed on a little while longer with us. He's doing some of the windrowing now. I'm just bringing them. Ugh. I'm just bringing the old uh, mower back home and get it popped away. Um, do you think it'll probably keep its header on it? Should fit. It's not bigger than the actual machine itself now, but well, it is. But I mean. The uh, entrance isn't. The entrance is plenty big enough for the machine and its header. I think that's where I was going with that. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let um, me grab me a hose. Pull that along here. Just give this a quick squirt over. Only put some seeds in, so it shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Right. Head back over to the windrower. Mike has stayed on a little while, but time to do all the work. There we go. We're just picking up two swaths at a time, turning it into one. It's going to make things a lot easier. A lot thicker swaths, but a lot less amount. We're going to have to bail in one go. We've got two more passes, and that's, that's us done with the windrower. Hopefully, we'll see you at the end. Yes, I have my door open. It's a little bit warm. Just left it open a bit, just to get some air flow through. That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> Here we go, up our last little stretch. Come on, little tractor. That's the goal. Oh, for some reason, we're only getting seven miles an hour out of her now. Unusual. All right, let's just open those up. I need some air. It's getting rather warm in here. It may only be June, but it feels like it's the middle of summer. Right, that's that lot done. Let's turn that off. Oh, I think we should really fold this up as well. There we go. And we actually have to cross the road and drop it off on the other side. Come on, fold up. There we go. It was a nice little wind drawer. It did what we wanted it to do. Um, maybe we could possibly get a bigger version. Maybe that version down the line. It wasn't overly expensive. It definitely did what we wanted it to do once I got the hang of it. Alright, let's connect up, unfold that. Beautiful. Lower the pickup. There we go, that's lowered. And turn on. And away we go. With our doors wide open. <laughs> it's gonna might may get a bit dusty and come on. Maybe the swap's too big. It is taking it rather sluggishly. Uh Shouldn't be too bad. Maybe it's just the lack of power and height this tractor has. But we'll get some done. <laughs> we'll get some done. There we go. There's another one dropping into the back box there. Ready for wrapping. Um, it's definitely picking it up. Just not not very speedily. <laughs> it fluctuates between 3 and 5 miles an hour. So it will take a while. Plus I'm probably causing my own bit of drag with the window doors wide open. But... Yeah, I need them at the minute. It is pretty juicy. And uh, I'm going to start to stink the cab out if I don't get some fresh air. <laughs> uh, to, I'll chuck up a giant drone in a minute. I've got one in here with me. Um, give you a little aerial footage.
there's a small taste of some aerial footage it's gonna be a long one i will see you uh in about an hour give you an update <laughs> Alright, so a quick update. Um, I think we're going to call it on this one. It's taken forever. Um, about halfway through the field. It's half past two in the afternoon. I will get the rest of this done. And I guess I'm going to see you in the next one. So, this has been Matty G. Have a nice afternoon. And please help me solve that mystery. We now know that the, na the, the, the word not spoken is Buckingham. We also know that the word Buckingham is now uh, translatable on the coding to um, B standing for one, U standing for two, and so on and so forth. So hopefully someone somewhere, please break the code. Because I'm not having much luck. <laughs> Take care.